community west of Albuquerque that found itself suddenly without water. Tonight, the problem continues with no word on when it might end. Taking a shower, brushing your teeth, it's small things in life we take for granted. It has forced the closure of important places on the Pueblo, like the health clinic, dialysis center, and the school. Major water concerns continue for the people of Acoma Pueblo. They are now in their seventh day without running water. The governor of Acoma says the main water line failed last Thursday evening, knocking out water to hundreds of people in the Pueblo. Acoma Pueblo is continuing to ask residents to conserve the little water they have. Please use limited water if you can. Pueblo cannot say when the water is going to be fully restored. Now the Pueblo has gotten a lot of help from its neighbors. Its neighbors. Its neighbors. We're not only, you know, just doing this for, you know, our people, you know, we're also doing it for the elders. Some of my grandmas that don't have um, nieces or nephews around, you know, the younger ones to help them out. And by doing this, you know, I'm, I was already thinking in my head, like, wow, you know, we're already doing it. I bet you, my, I think my grandma would have been happy if she was here still alive. And, you know, just thinking about, you know, our ancestors and the energy that's actually being put into I'm thankful we're able to give it back to the people because with the amount of projects that we've had with ancestral lands we never really gave back to our community this is another one way like I feel like we're giving back to our community the water crisis impacted our community of Acoma Pueblo terribly and sudden it left our hospital elders and most of our community without water for weeks which then led up to a month and two only having one water tank parked outside of our tribal offices wasn't enough. The tank would go low at times and people wouldn't have any water until another truck was delivered the next day. Being without water makes you realize a lot. You can't shower, you can't cook, you can't use your restroom, you can't wash your clothes or dishes, especially during a crisis we're already in. It was very stressful and impacted everyone. During the time of which our program, the Ancestral Lands Conservation Corps of Acoma Pueblo had came into action, thanks to Aaron Loudon. He made the call for us to deliver water to those in need during the crisis. And it wasn't long until we started getting water drugs and even more donations to help our community. We delivered 35,037 gallons of water and even got donations to hand out like solar showers. Everything we did was to help our community and to make sure our people had water every day. I couldn't be more thankful enough for everyone who helped make it possible for us to deliver water. Everyone who wanted to help our community during the crisis. Everyone who helped donate. Everyone who kept our program growing until the crisis was over. Every single one of my coworkers and the community members of Acoma Pueblo for being so thankful and patient with us. We are resilient. Water is life. Thank you. That inherently ties into the land, the water, the animals, the weather, the climate. So everything we pray for is like literally for not only ourselves because we realize that if, you know, whatever impacts the plants, whatever impacts the animals, the water, the land, the air, the climate, it impacts us too because we're all part of it, you know. Anything that threatens the land, threatens the water, threatens all those beings, those relatives, then it inherently threatens me too.